Hi everyone, it's Cardinal Smith here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2013. Today we have a big game against Bally Clare. Now in my last video, or one of my previous videos, Bally Clare stuffed this 3-0. It was harsh. But this time, it's a new season, the tails have turned, but Bally Clare are still the big boys in the league. They're predicted to finish first in the league um, but we're currently occupying that position three games in granted um, we've scored 10 conceded 5 but won every single league game not only that but it's been a record breaking start to the season for Banbridge so if I just take into account these six fixtures here are the first competitive fixtures of the year um, <laughs> all wins now, since last time we beat Tobermore in the League of Bobbis, uh, with Dylan Cobb and Mark Kelly getting on the score sheet, there was such a gap of, there was nearly a month between the next game, so we played a friendly against a lower league, Oxford United, and we pretty comfortably beat those. Sean Southam getting four goals. Um, and then, Ball Money United, away game, top in the league, Johnny McSorley getting a goal, and Sean Southam getting another three goals. So big form for Sean Southam. And then League Cup second round. Killy Moon. Same division as us. Pretty tough game. We had a pre some poor performances in the team. And also star striker Mark Kelly. Um, the new signing this season. He's been pretty consistently scoring. Is injured with a bruised rib. And he's going to be out for today's game. Um, now, he, he kind of follows the, the same skill set that I, I require most of my strikers. Finishing, composure, and pace. Those types of players tend to fit my my style of play. But after the first season, I, I also noticed that the, you know, the work rate was pr pretty damn important for what I needed. Um, so he's, he's not bad work rate either. Um, now... In place, I brought on a backup signing who I've just recently made uh, called Raymond Wilk Raymond Wilkinson. I should know how to say Raymond because my brother's called Raymond. But this guy has dribbling, finishing, and first touch. Bit of heading. He's got the composure he needs to, you know, keep calm in front of goal, pick out the right the right shot. He's got that ten work rate which I wanted, and he's got the pace. But I only signed him as a backup. So he comes on for his debut, and might I add, he also said, hey, uh, I'm, I want to leave if you're not going to play me. Scores two goals, and I'm like, okay. Okay, son. Well, uh, maybe, maybe now is your time. So, this game of Vince Valley player, going to be a big game. Mark Kelly's out injured, so we're going to bring in Raymond Wilkinson uh, for his chance. And let's, uh, in terms of the tactics, just a quick update on that. Almost finished up. Fluid in every familiarity level. It's still a simple 4-4-2. But um, we're also going to swap Kingsbury for Ryan Gourley. Uh, just because King Ryan Gourley is being pretty sensational for him. And uh, new signing Johnny McSorley is also going to come on as well. Uh, he's a really good passing. Now... I don't expect, if I'm honest, I think a draw would be a good result for this game. So, whatever we can get out of it would be is going to be fantastic. But we have been, uh, it's actually, I forgot to show you, it, six games, one in a row, is a Bambridge record. So, you know, hopefully, we, you know, uh, happy to break the record, but pretty nervous about this game. Hopefully we need big things from uh, Sean Southam. He's been on pretty hot goals, a goal-scoring streak right now. In the first uh, 20 minutes, and uh, not much has happened in this game. Actually, Ballyclare edging possession pretty disappointingly somewhat, but they're a big team. You know, they're, they're a bigger reputation than us. Cobb takes it right off, then passes back to Morley Hill. And outright to Spears, Cobb back to Morley Hill again. Playing about in defence. Keeping it simple. Woods, who's recently come under uh, some interest from other other teams. Pretty worried about that. Burnside, who isn't rated, 
Paces through the wilderness. He plays a ball through to Southam, who just hits it wide. Oh, by an inch. And that would have been a great start, and especially for the 54 home fans here today. So, played from the back again. Ferguson out wide the woods. Like I said, long ball through to Sean Southam. He's got the pace to get there. What's he going to do with this? Crosses the ball through into Wilkinson, who gets ahead of the fender, Gibson. Oh, and Gibson himself, the last touch was off their defender. Nevertheless, gives us the lead. Spears a long throw in. Wilkinson tries to hold it up. Gets dispossessed by Boy. Funny name. Long ball forward. Touched on by Ferguson. He plays a long ball himself forward. And we lose, we lose possession in the middle of the park. Now Ferguson under pressure. Rooney's there. And... S s <laughs> yeah, as you'd expect, Rooney scores. Um, because he's got the surname Rooney. Um, not sure what his uh, forename is. Pretty disappointing. We just conceded in front of half time. But luckily we had that goal keeping us up ahead. Now, let's take a look at the uh, performances. Some really poor performances. This is a big home game. If we're going to challenge for the title, this is the sort of game we need to step up for. And I'm seeing 6.1, 6.4, 6 6.5 in defence and a 6.2 up front really unhappy about that and if this was the uh, the full fat football manager mode I would be tearing into them just a little. Um, do you not particularly disappointed in Stephen Campbell who's been a, a big performer for this season? Craig Spears pretty unforgivable this is another game where he's underperformed just taking a look I mean he's all about the tackling um, he's not a lot else you know he's good teamwork um, pretty good physicals too but uh, I just put him in, I, I signed him to stop and end other opposition teams. Just end them. But he's not doing that today. Um, in terms of up front, I've got to give Southam a chance because my own, my backup uh, striker is Darren Fitzgerald. He is 34 years old. He has been amazing in training recently, apparently. Um, but, it, you know, his pace is so low. Good stats. Uh, really good performance in training. Technically, but I, I like peace, you know, I like peace. I think I've got to make a change. Um, so actually, actually, no, I don't. I'm not going to make a single change. What I'm going to do is ask the team to take their time a little though. And just don't rush things. I mean, let's be a bit more patient in this game. So, into the second half, hoping for a better performance. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind the score right now. I, I would be happy with it. I just want the Glads to go and give it their absolute all. In the 56th minute now, I'm paying pretty close attention to performances. Gourley in the left wing, out Spears, it's underperforming. McSorley has a great ball down the left wing to Gourley. He crosses it in for Wilkinson. Back to McSorley in the midfield. Out wide to the left. Good play this. Wilkinson's there. First time shot. Bangs it under the net. 2-1 to Banbridge. Bally Clare on the ropes. Come on, lads. In the 65th minute now, Paul Burnside picks up a knock. Now, he's this guy, right, totally not rated by my, my backroom staff, to, but completely rated by me. I think he's a really good player. And I'm going to, you know, Liam McGar... You know, I, I've got to check who's... It won't let me check in this mode. Okay, Liam McGarry needs the games. Um, okay, good to see Stephen Campbell's really stepped up. Craig Spears really stepped up his performance. Everybody's stepped up. Keep this up. Let's go. You know, tell him to be a little more patient. Seems to have worked out. But I saw some fantastic passing there. Um, and that, <laughs> especially for this level, is a bit surprising, but really good to see. So, long throw into the guy. Who's there? McGorley out there. Press it through to Southam. He gets the post. Goes for the rebound. Wilkins is there. Awesome save from the opposition keeper. So, I, you know, I don't want to praise them too much. But, oh, what a chance. Um, and fitness is becoming a problem now. I don't want to... Uh, Sean, I think you're great, but I'm bringing you off. Um, you've just been unlucky today. Uh, Darren Fitzgerald gets his first start of the season. Um, he's a good target man. 
you know, so hopefully the wingers will have something to play with there. Into the last 10 minutes, and I'm saving my final sub. Uh, Wilkinson gets a yellow. Five minutes to go. Let's make that sub. Oh, who should it be? Some 69 performances there. Joy McSorley in the middle of the park. It is. I, I need... I need fitness in the middle of the park. Give me the fitness. Please, please ride out this game. Oh. Okay, two, one minute to go. This has got to be it. Throwing in for Higgins. Stuart, is he going to cross it in? Don't score now. Please don't score. Rudy, the goal scorer on the ball. It's a final whistle. It says down at the bottom, Banbridge secure a big result today. And it is not wrong. That is our fourth league win on the trot, and it's a, another big marker in the ground because against Ballyclare, pretty big team for this league, one of the t challenge favourites, and we've actually been, uh, despite winning, we've been pushed out to second, um, but that is only on goal difference um, because Queen's Queen's University, um, tech, uh, who are also one hundred percent record. But just a slightly better goal difference. Not as high scores as us, but apparently a great defence. Let's see what the media expect of them. They're predicted to be 7th. I mean, I kind of get the impression, I kind of hope that the, they'll drop off when the season, maybe a few injuries will hit. Maybe they'll play the mighty Bambridge Town. But either way, I think we're probably in a really strong position right now. There's Annie United, who've won every game, bar the game against us in third. Um, and and Dondella also, who only won defeat, and that was against us. You set the marker in the ground. So, Banbridge in controls, Comrades pushed aside. Good, good, good. And the best thing is, Mark Kelly is going to be fit for the next game, hopefully. And let's take a look at what's going on. Uh, next game is away to Killy Moon, who we recently just beat in the league. They'll want, probably want revenge. And then the, the fixtures start getting a little more congested. You know what, I really want to get through this season, um, so I might play a few more matches. I'll come back for the League Cup third round against Dundella. Again, you know what, no, I've, I've already shown you, I've already uh, straight, you know, shown a game against Dundella, the first game of the season. You know what? I'll keep it a surprise, but either way, it's been a great start to the season. In terms of boardroom expectations, let's see. Northern Irish League Cup is the only outstanding one. The expected to reach the second round. We're in the third, so they're pretty happy with that. Um, squad harmony is the most pleasing thing here at 62%. Um, and the fact that just all of this is green is... <laughs> it's ideal. Um, in terms of finances, we are 7.8 thousand in debt, uh, so it's all it's all nice until we look at the balance. Now I know there will be prize money at the end of the year. We've actually reduced our wedge budget since last year, so hopefully that won't decrease too much. Uh, we don't get a a lot of uh, fans through the turnstiles. Um, let's see, the last game, Bally Clare, we had 75 fans. Okay, we're not exactly, you know, Barcelona, but we're we're actually winning more games than Barcelona right now. So whatever, fantastic. My profile, I've still got a very l low reputation, local. This is only my second season in the club, and only half a season last time round. And you know what? Even my contract's up at the end of the season. But I feel this is one of the. This is going to be hopefully my reputation building season and if we can get into division one then that's when other jobs might start looking around and maybe we'll take a look at England or maybe we'll carry on with Banbridge either way it's going to be pretty exciting this has been a great let's play for me <laughs> I love how we're winning right now just to know Injuries could be a problem. This is quite a light squad. All the backup are really young or really old and do not do not have the stars to back it up. There's the ability or potential. So if we're hit by an injury crisis, we could be in trouble. But with that in mind, 
I am somewhat excited. So, see you next time, pretty soon in a couple of days. Peace!